what's going on guys and welcome back to another video and this is something I've been waiting so long to get I would say about two months I know it sounds crazy because I ordered it from abroad and it was stuck in customs for such a long time especially with the whole virus situation it was delayed so long and I was like come on just give me that stupid thing already so here it is guys this is my new carbon fiber spoiler let me show you guys what I'm talking about now yes I ordered it about two months ago so before I'll show you the new one let me just show you the old one now by the way the cars it's just perfect timing because the cars just been cleaned and waxed so guys will see it's very shiny and it'll be a good time to do it so there's no dust on the car now this is the old one it isn't bad but I don't know if you'll see it on camera if you look close it looks a bit faded I know it's not a big deal that's not really the main reason why I want to change it I just want to get something a bit more aggressive than this um, yeah so what we'll do is we'll be taking this one off but let me show you first the new one because I'm all excited and here it is so as you guys will see it's quite a bit bigger this one but it's not massive I didn't want something that would overdo it but I just wanted something a bit more aggressive and I really think this will be the one I've seen pictures how this looks on a car and it looks really good so I'm really hoping this will look good on there so without further ado what we're gonna do is remove this I've never done this stuff before but it should be quite simple uh, like certain that came with a special tape and um, yeah I think it's just taped on so I think I'm just gonna have to rip this off gently and then clean it out make sure there's no tape there I wonder how this is going to come off just like that I'm just worried it's going to pull off some paint no it's just glue so I'll pull this one off and there we go it's a bit scary doing it the last thing I want to do is some paint out but just like that it came off now you guys will see it's dirty so we're gonna have to clean this off before we put in the new one we'll keep it as a spare the thing I'm wondering guys how is this tape really gonna hold it I mean I'm planning to do some serious road trip down Germany 160 miles an hour will it hold I really hope so okay First of all, look how different the car looks without that little spoiler. The spoiler definitely makes it look a lot more aggressive. So I've got here glass cleaner. I'm not going to put any serious chemicals. Let's spray around here. Just going to let it soak a bit, and then I'll try and rub it off with a microwave. Kind of done it in coats. This is the first coat rubbed off a lot of it came off but as you guys will see still some more around some of this uh, leftover sticky tape so I'm gonna spray it again just repeat the same thing a couple of times until it comes off so I'm just gonna let it soak a bit and hopefully that will get the tape soft I don't want to rub it too hard and then scratch the paint and yeah, it's a bit annoying because the car's just been waxed, as I said, and hopefully this won't take away the shine. But it's got to be done. And while that's setting, I'm going to start putting the special tape on here. Alright, so here we have this sticky double-sided tape that came with this. So we're going to put lines, two lines across here. Guys, I'm really hoping this will hold, to be honest. It looks like it's heavy duty, so we'll see. I mean, to be fair, the previous one was also just taped. All right, so here's what I did. I did three layers because, why not? I had enough to do three. I used the whole roll, three strips here. Now I'm gonna peel it off. It does look like solid, like silicone kind of strong stuff. So hopefully this will hold it, but I guess we'll find out some of the areas as you see here I had to cut because it started to stretch out a bit but yeah what I'm gonna do is peel this off and then it's the moment of truth because once you put it on you can't take it off so 
that's going to be a bit tricky making sure it's exactly straight. And as you guys saw, my camera just fell down. Luckily, I didn't break it. Well, I did kind of scratch it around, but luckily it didn't break. And some of you who know the story of the same camera, when I bought it, it fell down and it just smashed. So this is my replacement one. Luckily, I didn't break this one. But I'm just trying to press it down a little bit more, make sure that everything is intact and and then i'll show you the results definitely looks aggressive all right guys so this is it this is it it looks really aggressive a lot more aggressive that's for sure yeah the blinkers are on that's because my kids in the car press it around with the buttons but check this out so i don't know how the camera will pick it up but it's got like a nice kind of i don't know how you call this but this is definitely going to give more downforce i mean to be fair i don't care about the downforce not that i don't care obviously this is more for the looks than functionality but it probably does make some some sort of downforce but yeah, look at from here, this angle. Yeah, definitely not massive. I didn't want something massive, but I wanted something a bit bigger. And yeah, one thing I had to focus is getting this straight with this side. And once you put it on, you kind of can't mess around with it anymore. So it looks good. Let me know what you guys think. I think now the black, so I definitely think now the back looks more complete. One thing I would maybe want is a nice, more aggressive diffuser, but I'm happy with this for now. For now, I'm happy with this, especially with the black tips, short number plate, nice badging. Definitely a nice transformation since I bought the car. Yeah, definitely looks good from all different angles. And that's what I'm trying to do, get it all through the camera because and I'll show you how it looks like Okay guys, I see you're all scratched up here from the drop, but hopefully you like this. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, as I said, I've been waiting for this thing a long time. Finally arrived and now it's here. So let's hope this holds up properly because as I said, I am planning some nice road trips, which I'll announce later on um, near the time. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be go through some paces 150 160 miles an hour down germany so yeah have a look i like it that's the main thing 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.